Hello, Reunion Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem 6 with me, Blue Ankylo. Ostia's military primarily consists of soldiers in heavy armor. With them, Castle Ostia has always been famously secure. Until now. For countless years, the castle has been said to be impregnable. However, the rumors are about to be proven wrong by Roy, who, ironically, only does so for the castle's own protection. Someone else already impregnated this castle. <laughs> oh, look at all that treasure! I like that. Alright, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of uh, preparation for this battle because, uh, for one, we only get to pick 12 people, which is always rude when you have to leave out half your army. Uh, but for two, we've got some items to, to move around because of all the shopping from last episode. So first off, let me, uh, clean that up. I was hoping I could, like, uh, cycle through people from that screen, but it's not gonna happen. Vulneraries are good, don't get me wrong, I'm just putting them away to save space. Alright, like, you know, Shanna's gonna need another Iron Lance. Lot really doesn't need this longbow. Chad, I don't know why it keeps changing me to item list, but uh, he doesn't need that or that. Luff, I mean, as much as it's nice to have some spare fire spells, he doesn't need that many. Uh, Clarine at least doesn't need the torch for now. I should give her back that at some point later in the game. I guess at the very least we give her the heal and the men's staff. Um, Rutger... He doesn't need a new iron sword yet. At least he has one inventory space free. Uh, no, he doesn't need two steel swords either. That'll do. Look at all the space we got. Um, I do know that I meant to give Deke a steel sword. He can definitely use that for more damage if he needs it. <laughs> like he needs more damage. Heal staff, which is a lot more cost effective. We're not going to be using the hero crest just yet. Let's make sure Sue's got some basic weapons. Looks like she could use the, the longbow, actually. Uh, the, the trick with the longbow is it's got extra range rather than just range 2. Relatively low damage and uh, hit rate and high weight as well, but um, that extra range is really nice. So we'll, we'll give her that. I do think I'll be keeping Sue for a while. I like her stats more than the other archers so far. Now I know she's got a couple levels on them. But like, she's got a lot more stats. Her strength is about the same, sure. But she's got a lot more skill and speed than, than Walt. And even a little bit more defense and luck. And she's got two more movement. And that's also quite nice with aid. Sometimes being able to pick someone up to save their life is really valuable. Dorothy is even worse on strength, although again, she's you know a level or two behind. She might get that back. But to say that she's gonna get like five speed and two level ups is you know not gonna happen. So I feel like these two are pretty weak right now. Uh, Sue is my go-to archer for the moment. We're not going to be using Jarrett, same reason as we're not using Marcus. These guys, the pre-promotes, they just have terrible growth stats, and although they're really strong right now, they just suck the XP out, and uh, they, they make the rest of your team worse. Now, as far as Cav go, I don't know. I don't know yet. Um, for now, I'm just going to clear these guys' inventory out, and then we'll talk about it. Ellen versus Saul is a good question as well. Um, I kind of like Saul's personality more. He has a personality. Uh, Ellen might have slightly better stats, maybe. Eh. She's got the luck. Saul could be critical more likely. But otherwise, well, magic goes 3799. He's 4711. He's faster. There's probably not a huge difference, so I'll just keep using Saul for now. Um, I've got Clarine as sort of my main healer anyway, because she's speedy and I like it. Uh, I like her. 
and uh, she's got some sass, and then Saul is sort of backup healer. I'm pretty sure that he will promote into a class that can use light and light magic plus uh, staff. Not very many people get light magic. This might be the only way is to promote a priest in this game, I think. So if I want the ability to use light magic at all, we need to bring one of him, either him or Ellen. And I think Clarine, when she promotes, she gets anima plus staff, which is good. Uh, we do also, of course, have Luf for anima, and I believe he gets the staff when he promotes as well. So, you know, there's a fair bit of uh, overlap. Uh, but for now, he's our only mage, so he's on the team. That's what I'm trying to say. So then, what else is there? We had the discussion about, like, Wade versus Lot. I don't particularly think either of them are great, but uh, for now, I'll bring Lot. And so then it's down to, like, Cav. I'll also have to finish my inventory, right? Well, I'm not really planning on bringing Dorothy or Walt right now. Seems to like to reset the cursor position. Kind of weird. And uh, I'm probably not going to be using Wade. Put his stuff away. It's alright. Probably not going to use Ellen. I can always change my mind later if I need to. Uh, we have to keep bringing Chad because, you know, stealing items is pretty important and uh, opening treasure. Alright, so let's look at the unit selection here for this for this battle. We only get to pick 12. Um, kind of sucks. Uh, okay, what I want to do here, I'm just going to try to be sneaky here. I want to put all the horses close together like this. So now I can um, look at their stats in order like this, basically, so I can compare them quicker. So, like, first off, Alan and Lance are a little bit higher levels. They're both level 8. Noah's one level behind those two, and Trek's a couple levels more behind. So, keep in mind that he'll probably gain a few more stats. Noah's the sleep- or Trek's the sleepy guy, Noah's the- the, uh, arena guy, and then strength and speed. So, like, what are we looking for? Um... They've all got, like, okay, let, first off, let's look at defense. They've all got 7, 7, 7, or 8 defense. So maybe Trek is slightly more defensive if you've got a couple levels up, but otherwise, they're all very even. Luck is all pretty close. Lance certainly has the edge on speed, but Alan's not too far behind, neither is Noah. In fact, none of them are that far behind. Okay, then look at skill, 6, 7, 7, 6, also very all averaged. The only noteworthy stat is Alan has pretty good strength. Everyone else is pretty much the... Well, okay, Lance has above average speed and Alan has above average strength. Otherwise, they're all very similar. I guess constitution, Alan... Er, sorry, Noah has the advantage on con. So he gets a sort of a free speed out of uh, any weapon that weighs 10 or more con. That's a small advantage for him. They're, they really look almost the same. I'm just going to keep using uh, the two that we're used to for now. I, Noah and Trek seem okay, but like, these guys, you know, whatever. They're already in the team. Alright, then, uh... Let's have a quick look at the map before I finish my prep. Um... So we definitely need our thief. Lots of stuff to steal. We've got maybe our first promoted boss rather than, uh, you know, knights and stuff. So we want to be careful with that. We'll need someone with, you know, luck for magic or uh, someone with maybe a hammer, actually. We really So maybe a really good idea to bring Lot and his hammer. I don't, he doesn't even have it, so let's make sure we give that to him. Uh, otherwise, I don't see anything, I don't see anything super scary. This is peculiar. Destroy this wall to get into there. There's a couple doors you can unlock. We've got a long walk to go. We have to go all the way around the outside of the castle first. So really slow characters like boars, maybe not the best choice just because there's a long way to go. Alright. Yeah, let's skip boars for now and bring Sue. 
And then there's no one else down here that I really want to bring. So that's fine. At least we got someone who's quick and can shoot through walls and stuff if we need it. We don't have very many ranged options right now that are good, seeing as these two are kind of weak. So let's just finish up our item prep, and then we'll get to battle here. So I want to make sure I've got enough iron swords so we don't run out. I'll give him the extra rapier later on. I could give him a... I could give Roy a steel sword, but his con is so bad, it kind of kills his speed. Uh... Well, what I'll do... The thing is, what I'm thinking of... Also, I do have some, um stat ups I could use as well. I don't like to use these until they're promoted because everyone has like a sort of a, a maximum for their stats and pre-promoted like their base classes the caps are lower so if you gave this to someone they might hit their maximum before you promote them for HP and then you kind of miss out on some HP growth potentially but once they've promoted the caps will go up higher. Um... He's definitely not good for steel blades, anyway. Uh, yeah, we'll give him a steel sword, just, just so he's got an option for a little bit more damage. I want to make sure we've got that hammer. Really good against armored bosses. I didn't see a lot of cav. I'm not going to risk w wasting the killer axe just yet. Got a hand axe with a little bit of charges on it. Enough iron and steel, that'll be fine. Shanna definitely needs a new Iron Lance. It's fine. Um, we've got a couple Silver Lances ready to go now. That's cool. Lots of spare Javelins, Horse Slayer. wonder who I should give Gantz Lance to. A lot of kind of special items like that. Uh, Chad's fine. Luth's fine. Clarine's fine. Rutger, how much you got? Seven con. Which already slows you down quite a lot with the steel sword. So he doesn't want any of the blades. He's too slow for that. He is the perfect killing edge, especially once he gets promoted to Swordmaster. Um Swordmasters get, I believe, 20 or 30% base critical rate bonus. And then if you add on a killing edge plus uh, a really good skill stat, which also gives you crit, I believe. Uh, he can get kind of ridiculously high crit rates with that weapon. So that's why you want to save that. I think Berserkers, uh, for Axe guys, get the same idea where they get really high crit rate. So then a Killer Axe on them works out really well. But a Berserker is not the promotion from from Fighter. Fighters turn into Warriors, which I believe is just Axe and Bow and not a crit bonus. So we need like a Pirate or something to, to upgrade into a, to a Berserker. Uh, then we got Deke. Um, he's got enough charges on the iron blades. He could probably take that steel blade. He'd probably be the best use for it, honestly. Um, but maybe not right now. You just look at the stats here. Yeah, I mean, he's got like 13 cons, so he's only losing one speed off of it to get 11 damage. That's yeah, a bit better than the steel blade. Um couple beat bit better. I mean, it's all just marginal improvements here, but as long as you're not weighed down, it's fine. Anyway, let's keep going, try to finish this up. Saul will be okay. I guess I don't have to bring two healers, but I think it's probably worth it. So what do we want to focus on here? Um, I could, I probably should give my Cav um, steel weapons. Just so they've got like a higher damage option. Now you can't use your steel sword until you level up sword, but I can give you a steel lance. So I gotta remember to use Alan's sword a little bit more so I can give him a steel sword. And similarly, yeah, same basic idea here. So take an extra iron lance and bring a steel lance. So at least they've got one option for higher damage. And Sue said, okay, I think that'll be it for now. While I'm thinking about it, let's, uh, we, we will use boars in the future, probably. And he should probably have a steel lance, too. You know what? He's probably the best choice for Gant's lance. 
It's almost as much damage as a Steel Lance. I guess it's kind of in between. It's just like a in between iron and steel. But it's a good balance. Like it's it's almost as much damage as steel. Kind of halfway in between the uh, hit rate. No, the hit rate is closer to iron than steel, right? Like it's only five below iron, but the damage is plus two, and the weight is no big deal for someone like him. Okay, that's that's fine. Anyway, enough messing around, right? Um, the other thing we could do is we could rearrange the starting load layout. Um, if we wanted to. Not like it's gonna make much difference. We've got a long way to run. Alright, let's get to it. I know we just spent like 15 minutes prepping, but there's a lot of stuff to do, right? It's important. Alright, let's go rescue Lalina. Sure have. Debius was pretty weak, honestly. If Deke could take him out in one round, right? I don't know why he's worried about being the laughing stock, because if they lose here, they're all dead, so. Oh, snap! Just quietly assassinated. <laughs> That's why it's supposed to be quiet. Just throw her off the bridge or the parapet. <laughs> this guy's... trouble. Uh, that's my name. Don't wear it out. Oh, hey, Astor. Astor. You got a dumb name, Astor. It's got some sort of weird forehead pendant. Don't trust him. Ah, see, he is a spy. Gather, shoot him on sight. Steal things. He doesn't look like a peasant, though, with his little forehead pendant. Kinda looks like a... well, you know what. Luckily, we have, uh, x-ray vision and we can see that as well. Imagine if there was line of sight and fog of war for all of these maps. You couldn't see through this wall unless you had vision over here. It'd be difficult. Anyway, we do have Lelina over here. Um, I think they'll just attack her, so we have to keep her safe. Well, say that. Yeah. I do think you have to keep her safe, though. And try to rush in there and uh, save her. But we've got a long way to go, so let's get started. So I don't want to like super duper rush it, but I don't want to go slow either. Um, also, yes, we have uh, another thief. Say hello to Astor. So even if you didn't want to use him, the fact that he brings along a lockpick is quite nice. Um, but he seems pretty strong. 7, 8, 15, 11, 7. It's a bit better than Chad, but that's fine. It's also a few levels higher. Okay, so I'm thinking, try to lure these two out by placing, they've got, you got a javelin, right? Yeah. Just double check, sorry, one second. Well, one person here with probably a javelin to counter, and then one person here, probably an iron lance to counter. Well, I guess I didn't do it quite right. This guy can attack him with range, but that's fine. And we'll just move everybody up. Sort of make a bit of a line behind them.
You know what, if you want to attack Lot, that's fine. He can have a hand axe ready. Alright. This, this has the feeling of a bit of a long chapter. Might be a little bit more grueling than usual. We'll see. You are locked in a tiny little 2x2 two two room. The fact that they can shoot arrows through the wall to kill her is kind of... Kind of rude. Alright, well, Alan took more damage there than I was expecting. But he did counter kill, so there's that. That's a plus. Alright, that's how it's gonna be. Still, we should be able to overrun this position pretty quick. So, who have I got that needs kills specifically? Um, definitely would be nice to get Sue leveled up a little bit more. Probably could have left uh, Deke out of it, but he's just too good to not bring, I feel. Uh, it might not be a bad idea for Shanna to get a bit more practice. Actually, breaking that Iron Lance would be nice too, just so I can get rid of it. Stop wasting inventory space. Just throw it on the ground. Alright, then we can use someone like Sue. Well, they're both going to be able to... Actually, no, she'll be fine. I was thinking, like, they both be able to counter her, but uh, that's not correct. So, yeah, like, if you're wondering, the longbow could get us a free attack on the javelin guy. But it's very... They're pretty expensive. They're pretty rare. They're kind of like, uh... Well, the, the enemy spear that the last boss had, or uh, maybe like the iron blade rarity, like, you, you just, you're not gonna be able to buy these for very often in the game. There might be like a couple shops to sell them, I don't know, but it's not gonna be very often, very frequent. Alright, Lot, seeing as you're the only axe guy, we'll let you do the axing. The axing of the questions. One one axe guy is more than enough, and we might replace him with a better axe guy later if we find someone. Yeah, anyone's better than that. All right, should heal up, Alan. So much faster, love it. All right, next group is a fair ways away. No need to have the cavalry, like, uh, separate from the main force, but I'll just move them up front for now. I kind of... I wonder if it's possible to lure the archer to fight against one of our archers if you move people in the right way on the first turn. There. Yeah, I think we have to play a little dance with Melina. Because you know, we're gonna. Qu they want to quietly assassinate her. Crusader Kings 2 would have been a lot easier if you could just uh, shoot arrows through walls to get rid of those pesky children. Press pesky princesses. So, did they just open the door? This guy must have had a door key. That's weird. Steel Lance. Oh, this is a very weak mage. Uh, nine magic damage is nothing special. We got Steel Lance, Javelin, and a door key. Oh, I need to get sword experience, don't I? Not quite fast enough to double, but uh, I think Alan will be fine up here. I just need to get sword rank to D, basically. And the level up doesn't hurt. Oh, it does hurt! What was that? It's just enough damage, it's fine. Now 
now we move up. Loof, not Urk. So technically we could get away with like a little bit more damage if we went with Thunder, but it's fine. It's not too often that one more damage is gonna change the battle. But sometimes, sometimes. Oh man, this has been a bad start. Come on, we gotta get someone with a good level up. I don't mind the crit though, that's cool. Basically shot him in the eye, I figure. Uh oh, I didn't leave enough people who could attack that last guy. Well, left a couple. Uh, does Shanna needs a kill? Probably. So does Chad, sorta. Take a bit of damage, but as long as we can finish this rebel off, uh, he should be safe. I'm pretty sure he'll be safe. Shanna, you know what you need to do. Eh, strength is definitely valuable. Alright, so one shot will kill him. She's got two tries. Surely we'll be fine. Good. She actually is doing quite a lot of damage. 12 damage there, that's a... Well, he must have had basically no defense. She's only got a 13 attack. I just, you know, 12 seems relatively good for Pegasus. This guy did not have a javelin. Well, so far, this has been uh, pretty smooth sailing. Uh, and I guess Lelina is safe for now. Just have her rest. Probably a good way to farm some weapon experience there if you want to just chunk away on those knights. So what do we got? Another good kill for Luf, probably. Let's be honest. This is what he's made for. Now the good news is, he no longer needs to be our only mage. The bad news is that his, his, his cohort is only level 1. The good news is she starts with C rank and anima, which is pretty cool. And I believe Lelina's stats, she has one of the best uh, stat growths of all the mages in the game. So she should turn into a really good mage. Even though she's quite a few levels behind and it'll take some, uh, some work. So I'm thinking, maybe let this guy attack, but let's not rush any further forward than that. Sort of hold the line here till everyone catches up, and then we'll attack next turn. Okay, we've got a little bit more space up here to hide people. like to tuck everyone all in there, so we've got lots of good options next turn. Yeah, these these three uh, soldiers are going to have a really bad day here. Yeah, these, uh, I don't know why. I really don't. It was the same thing in Fire Emblem 7, I think. But a lot of times, the general lance footmen just have no stats at all. Like, no speed, no defense, half the time. They, 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 they really... They're just fodder most of the time. Like, I mean, look at that. He does a bit of damage, but he can hardly hit anything. He's got no defense, no speed, blah, 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 on and on and on. 
they seem unfairly weak, you know. Uh, but they are pretty high level, so we get some experience. Let's, uh, maybe let Roy get a kill? Yeah, why not? Now, if they had enough skill, they would be quite threatening, because they, uh, they can hit pretty hard if they, if they, if they could hit. Sure. I see the next chapter or two spending a lot of time letting Lalina kill these guys. So let's get Luff to like level 10 or whatever this this chapter so that Lalina can take over next time. These guys are so slow, we can get away with the steel sword for extra damage and still double. Oh. I guess you generally get like 11 XP there, so that's nothing to be too worried about. So I probably don't want to move Shanna up unless I'm confident we can kill that archer. Which is possible. Hey Chad, get another kill here. I was looking through a little bit of the walkthrough for recommendations for like party building, and they do recommend having two thieves, even if you don't bring two all the time. So even though Astor is better, we probably want to keep Chad, which is what I'm thinking, basically. Probably heal him up. And um, because there's there's going to be, apparently anyway, there's going to be a couple chapters where you need thieves and you have to split the party in two. So having a thief in each group is very important for at least one battle, I think. Well, Lance, how strong are you here on your own? Not quite enough to kill him. You got better luck with the sword to get hit twice, basically. Or, just get a critical. Why not? Just to double check. We're pretty close to ranking up our uh, sword skills. Well, Lance. If I am going to keep these two, maybe I should build the support between them as well. Might be smart. Oh, I think you can, uh, yeah, you can hide on the pillars to get a bit of a stat bonus. So there's that. That's a little bit of a bonus. Almost forgot to even check those. They're not as good as, like, forests, but... No one needs any healing, right? Yeah, we've been staying on top of things, we're fine. So far, so good. We'll go a little bit farther for this episode. Maybe try to clear out the top section of this map. Sort of the outer area, at least, right? Oh, hello! It's a blue-haired fella. And a blue-armored fella. And a pink-haired miss. Keep your hopes low? Ouch. Oh, I should have brought boars. Hope I didn't need to bring boars to recruit these people. Actually, this would have been a good mission for boars in the sense that he wants to rescue Lelina. I just didn't bring him because it was too much running around for him. But uh, yeah, this is the three knights, including boars. Let's go. Sue is still the lowest level at the moment. And so far, I'm pretty impressed with her stats. We'll see. We'll see. Right here. Skill and speed. That's fine. Not missing and getting two attacks definitely helps. We 
might lure one of the archers over, or maybe even two of them. Let me just... No, only one. That's fine. So, uh, if we leave a javelin equipped, and you get attacked, then you get to counter. Then we heal Lance and move him up as well. Oh, we can actually go straight for that one. Probably a little bit dangerous, though, so we won't do that. Just in case, but it should be fine. And we want to keep Shanna safe. You know the drill. Therene will cover heals if needed. And the rest of the team just keeps running up, trying not to fall too far behind. See, imagine if we were bringing boars. He would be by now... Oh, I don't know. Probably back here. Just trying to keep up way behind the rest of the team. Oh, right. We can control these guys. Uh, I guess they might get attacked, too. What you got? So, Wendy is our um, level 1 knight, and again, kind of like most of the level 1 later game recruits, or mid-game recruits, she probably has really good growth stats, and um, she probably can turn into one of the best knights, but she requires more investment. Barth? I don't know. We'll have to compare him to Boars when we get back. And then we've got our new mercenary. So, Olger is uh, not a soldier, he's an Olger. Um, just a mercenary, that's fine. I like mercenaries. Barth, just humorless, that's fine, that's what we want on the team. And uh, Wendy, so there you go. I guess you don't have to recruit them, but I bet you there, there probably was some dialogue if we brought boars and they could still talk to each other or something. Sure. All right, and then we'll move Barth out front. He only has a lance. Wendy will be behind him. If she gets hit by an arrow or something, she'll be fine. I think. I mean, she's level one. I have to be a little bit more careful with her. Oh, I have to turn their animations on again. Yeah. Kind of figured she'd go for Wendy. Let me get pinned in by archers there. All right, before I forget... We would like to see these new... Oh, I missed Astor as well. And Lilina. Oh, look at all the new characters. It's crazy. All right, so can... We can help them a little bit. Is it worth the javelins that kill one? No. So then we'll try the melee. See how much damage this can do. Not enough. 20 damage is a good hit if that, if that worked. Oh, that'll, that'll probably do it. What's the sword like? 11 times 2? Not quite. So we need the Iron Lance to get the kill if we don't miss. Excellent. Good work, Alan. All that speed is starting to work out for you. Alright, that's pretty much all this force can do. So then these guys are responsible for cleaning stuff up. Don't miss. Oh, also, if I did bring boars, there's a cool special attack that the three knights can do in this game. Didn't almost rebel that. Which one's more dangerous? 13 damage, 16 damage. We want to kill this one first. That's pretty low odds. But. Even if we didn't kill this archer, what we can do in this situation is block it in, and it can't even attack next turn like this. So even if we don't kill it, it can't do anything. But Olger, living up to his mercenary roots. Cool. I think that went pretty well. The rest of the team is trying to keep up. Uh, be careful with Shanna, though. Let me just double check. Yeah, don't move her all the way up. <laughs> Almost caught me.
There might be an item in this game, there was in Fire Emblem 7, that if you leave it in a Pegasus Knight's or Wyvern Rider's inventory, it eliminates their penalty to, to uh, ranged weapons, so they no longer take bonus damage. But it's pretty rare and generally fairly late game if it does exist. Alright. wonder how Astor does in combat, just for interest's sake. Eh, he's pretty fast, as you'd expect. We'll let someone else get the kills. I'm not sure if I want Olger. Like, I'm, I'm kind of getting too many units right now. And I do like mercenaries, but... Uh, oh, he also came with an armor slayer. That's really nice. But, like, Deke is so good. I mean, I could have two Deeks if he's as good as Deke. <laughs> I don't know. Is that possible? And then there's, like, Wendy. Shanna hates archers. See? She really hates them. Not her worst level up, I, I will say that. I am always tempted to try to bring the level 1 units and power them up. Because I know they tend to have much higher, um... Maximums. If they get good levels up and stuff, they tend to have much better growth. But uh, it does take a lot of work. I suppose I'll need to end this episode though pretty soon. I'm just trying to get like halfway through the battle basically. Yeah, like I still think not bringing bars was the right idea. Because even my uh, five or six move characters are starting to drag this battle down even more than they need to. Just need everyone to have a horse here. Alright, we'll do one more turn, then we'll call that an episode, I think. So what I want to do is set up kind of a defensive line. I'm not going to attack into this right now, especially because they'll be shooting fire over the, the walls. So this is like... This is the death corridor, for sure. This is the uh, kill zone. And we have to get through that to get to Lelina. They'll probably have enemy reinforcements for a, a secondary kill zone. And there's a lot of treasure that's going to take us a while to get to. So my goal here is... How strong are you? 11 damage? Might be strong enough to kill Wendy if she's slow. Nah, this guy's not gonna have a double on 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 uh, on Wendy. I don't think. But I'd like to keep her out of range anyway. So maybe we'll just uh, block up like right here for now. Yeah, we're gonna use. Can't get Wendy out of range of the uh, mage there. Okay, well, pull her back a little bit. I'm gonna move Bor or uh, Barf. I'm gonna move Barf over this way. He should be. He should be safe. We use Allen and Lance to block the road up. Get a couple more, sort of as a sort of a flank, depending on what happens. And then I just need more units to get closer, basically. Honestly, if you want to try magic on Shanna, that would be fine as well. Sure. Aww. It's not that big of an awe, guys. Don't cry. Alright, this sort of give us, gives us, like, you know, one or maybe two turns to let the rest of the team catch up. Mostly, at least. Except for, uh, a couple people. Alright, we'll see what the enemy does, and then we'll end the episode. And that'll be pretty good, I think. I hope we're about halfway through. I think you're pretty hot stuff there, huh? Well, you did dodge the, the throwing lance. 
Alright, well let's call that an episode. We're in a, a good position to start our assault on the kill zone. Um, the kill corridor. And uh, that'll be an interesting challenge for next episode. So thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.